Yes. This is my sister's family on, on her side, and Mitch Bader is um, is Charisse's, um uncle and uh, Segovia's brother, Segovia's father. Um, I'm sorry, Teresa's father's. Teresa's father who um, passed away and this is a letter written by Segovia um, and I will read it to you it is a little long but um, and I just want to show you before I do read it that um, it ends up getting this is Segovia's cousin okay and then Teresa sends it to me um, and you know the rest of her family Ali Bader and, and these other people that I don't really know, her, her family that I'm not really familiar with, the McIntyres, okay? Tree and Kenny and, you know, whatever. They've already, they were already sent it, Ruth Bader, and this is all her family, okay. So let's read it. This is what Segovia wrote. Um, who would have ever thought that it happened like this? Attacked by a tiger in Africa, killed by bandits in Central America. He was a world traveler. Capsizing in a tiny boat in the middle of the ocean, falling from a mountain in Nepal. There's many more dramatic ways that I could have been taken from you. Okay, I'm just going to skip a little bit because I need to get to this part. Okay. How wonderful you all are and how fortunate I was to have such an incredible family. I may not have been around very much in the last 10 years. I always hated missing and sharing the cruises and holidays with everyone, but my time with you all was always enjoyable and very important to me, especially when Vaughn and Teresa could be around. With the type of with the type of lack of nuclear family environment that I was able to offer them, it was always comforting to me that they could experience the Bader family and know that they had a real family, especially for Teresa, who didn't have much family on her mother's side. Hey, that's me. <laughs> the love and support that you gave them was always far more important to me than I ever expressed, more than you could ever imagine. Thank you so much for that. It was also comforting that I could leave them in good hands. Please watch over them for me. Okay. Look at how, okay, not being with all of you was certainly not the aim of that. I guess I always did things a little differently. Look at how Therese and Vaughn came into the world. <clears throat> exactly. But sometimes, it, he wasn't married, but sometimes those things come about in the most unorthodox ways and can turn out the best things in your life. Anyway, among many of the thank yous, I must add a thank you for putting up with me when I, and welcoming me back when I was able to be with you. Okay. I lived more in my 57 years than most people could have lived in 10 lifetimes. I wasn't ready to go. This is pretty sad, actually. He was a very positive person. He was a successful musician, a world traveler, a bohemian, a 48-year-old retiree, a father of two incredible children, a baiter. I always managed to live in my own life outside of the mainstream, something I set to do in high school that I managed to accomplish. One more wonderful thing to leave in this world is I had no secrets and unresolved turmoil between myself and others. Anyway, you guys get the idea, but it is to say that Teresa is his kid, and um, you know this is this is forwarded to all her other family as well, and he's not mentioning them as the, his children or anything. You know, only Teresa and Vaughn. And you know this is is going out to everybody, you know, me included. So, well, because of Teresa, not me directly. went out to all his friends and family and whatnot, okay? And we can check the date on that, and that was 2010.